So I haven't spoken much about Blair White on the program before, but for those of you who are unfamiliar with her, she's essentially the transgender equivalent of Dave Rubin. She's a willing, useful idiot for conservatives. She enables their transphobia, endorses usually transphobic things and policies, and I'm assuming, hoping at least, that she gets paid for her services. You know, I feel bad for her. It's honestly sad that she does this, and she's willing to throw her own community under a bus, but that's who she is. Basically, a Dave Rubin version uh, for transgender people. So she decided to own the libs, or try to own the libs on Twitter, following news about Joe Biden's administration potentially canceling uh, student loan debt. So this is what she wrote. Imagine believing a five-year-old can pick their gender, but 18-year-olds can't consent to student loans. So she's playing right into this transphobic trope that we've seen lately with the Republican Party and their propagandists. You know, no one is trans, no child is trans. They're always, you know, indoctrinated into this woke gender ideology by their liberal parents. Except my question for uh, Blair White is this shoe. When did you feel, if you can remember, when did you feel like something was off? That you um, were supposed to be a girl? Like five. At five? Yeah, I remember being in preschool. Like my, my earliest memories in life were feeling like the only way I can describe it was like a very intense misalignment between the way I was perceived and the way I had my self concept. Um, so I would say five, uh, but obviously I didn't have the words to articulate it at five. Is that so? You realized that you were trans when you were five years old. Let's look at that tweet again. Imagine believing a five-year-old can pick their gender, but 18-year-olds can't consent to student loans. Oh, it's so good. This is amazing because it proves that conservatives have no ideology. They're simply reactionaries, plain and simple. I mean, they think that student loan debt cancellation on the left is a good thing. I think it's bad. What's that leftists think that education should be free? I think that's bad. What's that they also believe that healthcare should be free at the point of service and somebody shouldn't die if they can't afford to get healthcare? That's bad. Socialism bad. It's just, it's astonishing to me. They have no unique beliefs that originate from within them. They have no actual ideas about policy. It's just whatever their opponents want, they fight them and say that's bad. It's just, it's incredible, honestly. It's incredible. Now, what's sad about this situation with uh, Blair White is she thinks that if she can be a useful idiot to the GOP for long enough, eventually they'll accept her. Perhaps she has this warped view of the GOP and she thinks that, you know, if they see me as one of the good trans people, then maybe that will be conducive to broader acceptance of trans people if I can be the example that they prop up. But the problem is that they will never accept you Never, Blair White. And, you know, maybe you're economically conservative and you want to be aligned with the GOP and their propagandists. But the sad fact is they will never, ever support you. They tolerate you insofar as you continue to be useful to them and act as a propaganda tool. You know, if they can point to you and say, well, our transphobic policy is right because this trans person said so, then they'll continue to use you. But the second that you are not useful to them, they'll toss you aside like that because they don't give a shit about you, Blair White. They will never accept you. They're using you as a tool and you're letting them do that. And you're using your identity as a trans woman to make the world a shittier place for other trans people. I just, I don't understand why you do that. And she talks about how, you know, oh, well, 18 year olds can't consent to student loans. As if we have a choice, right? I mean, you think that when we go to college, we think, man, I'm so excited because now I get to get student loans and I, I get to have all this money that I get to pay back. We don't have a fucking choice. It's either you take out the student loans or you don't go to college. That's where we're at in society. Like my family saved zero dollars for me to go to college, right? So I went to community college and then eventually transferred to a four-year university and then grad school. I had to take out student loans in order to get an education. And education is a good thing. We all are entitled to educations. So for you to say, oh, well, you, you chose, you knew what you were doing to take out those student loans. The fuck we did. We had no fucking choice. In this society, every single young person is told, if you want to be successful, you have to get an education. If you want to be economically um, just secure in your life, you have to get an education so you get a good job. And then all these young people, they take out these loans to get educations, and then they graduate into an economy where they can only find jobs at fucking Walmart or Starbucks. That's the state of the world. So to say that they consented to that, it's just, it's ridiculous. But you, however, 
you're consenting to being the GOP's useful idiot. And I genuinely feel bad for her because I feel like she probably believes that she can actually facilitate greater acceptance of trans people if she puts down trans people and she's like one of the good trans people. I mean, take a look at this clip from 2017. This is a debate between her and Candace Owens on the Dave Rubin show. And look at the way that Candace Owens disrespects her, disrespects her, doesn't even value and acknowledge her basic human dignity. I'm not comfortable using the she pronoun, uh, not because I, it's not anything to be disrespectful. It's just that a lot of people that follow me don't know that Blair is trans and a lot of people that follow her maybe don't know me, vice versa. And I think that it betrays the audience when you make it sound like this is a petty cat fight and there are two girls sitting across from a table when in fact it is a grown man sitting across from a grown woman who has had a lot of things to say about me when I've never even met you or said negative comment about you. Um, so I just want that to be very clear. Happy to for the rest Super of clear. this. Yeah, it, it should be Super known. Clear. We're both I, I, adults, you know, you're a grown man. No, grown no, we're, defin we're definitely adults. I just think it's interesting how you act like you're above the ad hominems and you're above attacking someone when in reality, you and I both know that the situation is you're using those pronouns and you're saying what you're saying, calling me a grown man. That's because, not an attack, that's no, a fact. No, let me finish that. Uh, you're doing that in a way to be passive aggressive and petty, but in a way that your audience doesn't actually read because you do have the very hardcore conservative audience and so they're not really going to read it as petty. Everyone else will. No, though. I don't want them to think that this is a cat fight between two girls. It's not. I'm saying That's that you are. It, no, it. it's, it's very important because it, it, it really isn't, though. But we can but we can move on because it really isn't about how she dresses. Me and me. biology I really don't care about that. I'm happy to call you That's a she totally for the rest fair. so that we can move on from the pronoun thing right. and answer your question. It, it, so you're I would say look, she, but look. you have to start by calling me a man. OK, you're doing propaganda for people like that, Blair White. That's who you're enabling. I mean, you could be trying to push for tolerance and acceptance, but instead you want to be their useful idiot because I'm one of the good ones. So they can never treat me bad, except you've already experienced them treating you like shit. And now because of things that you tweet saying, oh, well, a, a five-year-old can't possibly be trans, even though you know that that's not true because you've said yourself that you realized that you were trans when you were five. Now people are going to point to that transphobes will say, oh, well, you know what? My child, uh, they're uh, showing signs that they're trans. My son is putting on a dress. So I know that you can't possibly know that you're trans at five. So I'm just going to beat the shit out of them. And, you know, I know that this is the right thing to do because Blair White, a trans person, knows better. And she said you can't possibly be five. So, you know, maybe if I beat my kid, then I could beat the gayness or transness out of him. Like this is perpetually what conservative uh lgbtq plus people are used for right they're used to validate homophobic and transphobic beliefs and those who actually are serving as useful idiots i just i have no respect for them i feel bad for them i feel bad for people like blair white but you know she does this to herself so i love that she uh she decided to try to, you know, uh, play to this trope that we're seeing from conservatives that, you know, this ideology, this woke gender ideology is imposed on kids. But yeah, you know, she got debunked by herself when she on Joe Rogan was honest and talked about how, well, yeah, I actually knew I was trans at a very young age. It wasn't imposed on me. Yeah, we know. So you're a liar. You're basically validating what we all suspected, that you're disingenuous. And maybe it's for clicks. Maybe it's for cash. Either way, I don't know how you sleep with yourself at night. Have some self-respect and human dignity. Don't put yourself through this all for clout or a check. Actually challenge their transphobic beliefs. Stop validating them, Blair White. I mean, I, I just, I, I can't fathom sleeping at night knowing that I'm damaging my own community. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.